Well, Coach Hembree, we're at game number eight of the 2014 season. Well, the Lumberjacks have a 5-2 overall record, 4-0 and in the conference. Where do you assess your team at at this point in the season? You know, we got a tough three-week stretch here. Uh, it's been a, been a process like we've talked about. Uh, you know, the last couple of weeks we've kind of, you know, played a lot of kids and just uh, try to keep some guys healthy or get some guys healthy. You know, we beat up a little bit right now. So, uh, you know, we're in good shape going into the last three weeks. But, you know, like I said earlier, it's a, it's a key three-week stretch. And uh, we're back to, to grinding a little bit right now, more so than we had the last couple of weeks of trying to get some guys with some legs under them and, and playing some guys uh, one way. Now we're going to go back to playing some guys both ways again like we did earlier against Cross and against Star City. So, uh, you know, really, really excited about that. Hopefully, uh, you know, Clay will be back this week, which which will help uh, at full speed. Uh, Darby Iron still not 100%. Uh, you know, he might play some Friday night, but he's still going to be a game time decision. Uh, Lafoy is going going to try to play Friday night. Uh, Aaron is is practiced some this week. He's probably about uh, 75, 80 percent right now. So, you know, we got to get these guys back uh, going into the to the stretch run. Well, you're talking about your the, the health of several of the players there, and against Dewitt, if I remember correctly, Kalei played a little bit, but he didn't play a lot. It yeah, he played like four or five snap, snaps. Uh, uh, Trent played well. Trent played really well outside the fumble he had there in the second quarter. I thought he played really well. Uh, I thought he got tired. I thought he got tired. Really wanted Dennis to, to play a lot, and uh, you know Dennis had a bad situation happen to him. You know our thoughts and prayers go go to him and his family, and uh, our kids really rallied around him uh, early in the game. Really wanted him to, to get a touchdown, and um, and we and, and he he was able to do that. But you know I was hoping he'd get to play a little bit more on offense. But he did play the whole game on defense, and. Uh, I, I was wanting to alternate them two at running back, and it kind of got in a situation where uh, both of them got a little tired, so we had to play Calais a little bit more than we wanted to. So in general, what was your feelings about the DeWitt game? Obviously, we won pretty handily uh, when it was all said and done. Any uh, particular thoughts about it? No, not really. You know, we, we had a plan going in. Uh, you know, we wanted to play a lot of kids, and we did that. We started Dakota Heron again on offensive line. He, he's not started in the last few weeks. and. Um, you know, I thought, you know, he needs to get some game time experience. Uh, he got some snaps and uh, he played the whole game. We didn't have to play LaFoy both ways. We had to play Aaron both ways. Uh, the only one that really played both ways was Trent and we probably played him too much. Uh, that was a concern going in. He got a little beat up as the game went on and uh, we didn't want that to happen. And uh, so, you know, it's just a situation where we're trying to take care of our guys uh, right now in a, in a game that, that, that we knew we pretty much knew we were going to be able to handle and um, you know going going forward we wanted to be full speed and and right now we're not but we're, we're closer than we were last week well let's turn to Monticello that's the next game got to go to Monticello and play um, I think we're calling this now the Saline River shootout it's become a pretty big game in, in South Arkansas but particularly between the two schools talk about Monticello what do they try to do you know Monticello uh, they're, they're two and five coming in but you know, in the past, you could throw the records out. Uh, this is a big ball game for them because uh, really they're, they're probably out of the playoff race, and this is the last thing they had to play for for the year is the trophy. So uh, that's something that, that I've talked to our kids about this week, and uh, they understand that the Marcellus Ball come out and play really well, and they're going. And it's a big rivalry, and you know we got to take care of ourselves, and we got to prepare, get better from 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 last week to this week as far as. Uh, the health-wise, uh, the execution-wise, and be ready to go into the final two weeks of our season. And that's something that we're really focused on right now is is really uh, uh, polishing up what we're doing and getting some guys back in there that didn't play the last couple of weeks to, to, to get some reps. Well, you kind of hinted on this when you're opening comments talking about the stretch of games that we have coming, but uh, I was going to ask you kind of how the conference seems to be uh, kind of stacking up here toward the end of the last part of the season uh, the player the teams we've got to play uh, are still all in the hunt including us right right outside of Monticello you know you've got um, Dollaway who's still undefeated in conference you got Hamburg with a one loss in conference and you got Star City with two losses in conference and you got CrossFit with a one loss in conference so um, you know Dollaway has uh, has uh, uh, Star City this week and Hamburg has CrossFit this week so you know, them two games are going to mean a lot for the conference standings. And then, you know, our final two games with Hamburg and Dalloway, then, you know, that, that'll be for, uh, for, 
proceeding. So, you know, we're right in the thick of things right now where we want to be. Uh, we just got to take care of what we need to take care of Friday night against Monticello. And then, uh, you know, get ready to play the, the final two weeks of our season, which are going to be different from any, any season that we've had since I've been here as far as, uh, you know, usually by week eight, week nine, the, the seedings are already, you know, determined. And, and this year's going to go all the way to week ten. Since we're at this point in the year, and you've got a, a number of seniors on this team that have, have played great for you over the, uh, their entire careers, do you feel like that your seniors are really performing at their high, high level at this point? Well, you know, I think that it's just a process that, that they understand right now. They understand when uh, uh, what we want to do as a football team. You know, they're not, they're not selfish. It's like Darvion coming in against Star City, just playing on defense in the second half, not playing any offense. And, and then Friday night, you know, he might do the same. You know, we're going to get him some reps Friday night. I don't know how many, but he's going to get some reps Friday night. And uh, they understand what we're trying to do here. And that, that's a key. That's maturity that's, that's set in. You know, you got four of them who's been playing since they were in the ninth grade with Kalei, LaFoy, um, uh, Darvion, and, um, and Aaron. So they understand what the process is here. They understand that we have two really, really big games coming up. And they understand that, that preparing this week is going to, you know, help them for next week and, and so far. So, yeah, I mean, I'm pleased with where they're at. Uh, you know, we've got to play a lot of young kids. That's what's been great about the last two weeks uh, is playing them young kids early in the ball game when it means something. Um, and then, you know, adding depth to our football team. And hopefully we can come out Friday night injury-free, play, play, you know, execute offensively and defensively to the – uh, how we want to, and then uh, get ready to play Hamburg and Dalloway the last two weeks. Well, Coach, we look forward to seeing you on the east side of the Saline River Friday night, and I hope we have a great uh, group of Warren fans there. A big ball game, and good luck. All right, thank you.